Queuing theory is the mathematical study of waiting lines, or queues. A queuing model is constructed so that queue lengths and waiting time can be predicted. Queuing theory is generally considered a branch of operations research because the results are often used when making business decisions about the resources needed to provide a service. Queuing theory has its origins in research by Agner Krarup Erlang when he created models to describe the Copenhagen Telephone Exchange. The ideas have since seen applications including telecommunication, traffic engineering, computing, and, particularly in industrial engineering, in the design of factories, shops, offices and hospitals, as well as in project management. Spelling The spelling, queuing, over, queuing is typically encountered in the academic research field. In fact, one of the flagship journals of the profession is named Queuing Systems. <laughs> Single queuing nodes Simple description and analogy a queue, or queuing node, can be thought of as nearly a black box. Jobs or customers arrive to the queue, possibly wait some time, take some time being processed, and then depart from the queue see fig. 1. The queuing node is not quite a pure black box, however, since there is some information we need to specify about the inside of the queuing node. The queue has one or more servers, which can each be paired with an arriving job until it departs, after which that server will be free to be paired with another arriving job see fig. 2. An analogy often used is that of the cashier at a supermarket. There are other models, but this is one commonly encountered in the literature and which is familiar to all. Customers arrive, are processed by the cashier, and depart. Each cashier processes one customer at a time, and hence this is a queuing node with only one server. If, when a customer arrives to the cashier to find it busy, the customer will leave immediately, this is a queue with no buffer or waiting area or any number of other terms. If, however, up to five people may wait at the cashier while it is busy, this is a queue with a buffer of size 5. Birth death process the behavior, state of a single queue, also called a queuing node, can be described by a birth death process, which describe the arrivals and departures from the queue, along with the number of jobs, also called customers, or requests or any number of other things, depending on the field, currently in the system. An arrival increases the number of jobs by one, and a departure a job completing its service decreases k by one see fig 3. Kendall's notation single queuing nodes are usually described using Kendall's notation in the form A, S, C where A describes the distribution of durations between each arrival to the queue, S the distribution of service times for jobs and C the number of servers at the node. For an example of the notation, the M, M, 1 Q is a simple model where a single server serves jobs that arrive according to a Poisson process inter-arrival durations are exponentially distributed and have exponentially distributed service times. In an M, G, 1 Q, the G stands for general and indicates an arbitrary probability distribution for inter-arrival times. Overview of the development of the theory In 1909, Agner Krarup Erlang, a Danish engineer who worked for the Copenhagen Telephone Exchange, published the first paper on what would now be called queuing theory. He modeled the number of telephone calls arriving at an exchange by a Poisson process and solved the M, D, 1 Q in 1917 and M, D, K queuing model in 1920. In Kendall's notation, M stands for Markov or memoryless and means arrivals occur according to a Poisson process. D stands for deterministic and means jobs arriving at the queue which require a fixed amount of service. K describes the number of servers at the queuing node K equals 1, 2. If there are more jobs at the node than there are servers, then jobs will queue and wait for service. 
The M. G. 1 Q was solved by Felix Polacek in 1930, a solution later recast in probabilistic terms by Alexander Kinchin and now known as the Polacek Kinchin formula. After the 1940s, queuing theory became an area of research interest to mathematicians. In 1953 David George Kendall solved the GI, M, K, Q and introduced the modern notation for Qs, now known as Kendall's notation. In 1957 Polacek studied the GI, G, 1 using an integral equation. John Kingman gave a formula for the mean waiting time in a G, G, 1 Q. Kingman's formula, the matrix geometric method and matrix analytic methods have allowed Qs with phase type distributed inter-arrival and service time distributions to be considered. Problems such as performance metrics for the M, G, K, Q remain an open problem. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Service disciplines. Various scheduling policies can be used at queuing nodes. First in first out. Also called first come, first served FCFS. This principle states that customers are served one at a time and that the customer that has been waiting the longest is served first. Last in first out. This principle also serves customers one at a time, but the customer with the shortest waiting time will be served first. Also known as a stack. Processor sharing Service capacity is shared equally between customers. Priority Customers with high priority are served first. Priority queues can be of two types, non-preemptive where a job in service cannot be interrupted and preemptive where a job in service can be interrupted by a higher priority job. No work is lost in either model. Shortest job first the next job to be served is the one with the smallest size. Preemptive shortest job first. The next job to be served is the one with the original smallest size. Shortest remaining processing time. The next job to serve is the one with the smallest remaining processing requirement. Service facility single server. Customers line up and there is only one server. Several parallel servers. Single queue. Customers line up and there are several servers. Several servers, several queues, there are many counters and customers can decide going where to queue customers' behavior of waiting balking, customers deciding not to join the queue if it is too long. Jockeying, customers switch between queues if they think they will get served faster by doing so. Reneging, customers leave the queue if they have waited too long for service arriving customers not served either due to the queue having no buffer, or due to balking or reneging by the customer are also known as dropouts and the average rate of dropouts is a significant parameter describing a queue topic <laughs> simple two equation queue a common basic queuing system is attributed to erlang and is a modification of little's law given an arrival rate lambda text style lambda a dropout rate sigma text style sigma and a rate of service mu text style mu length of the ql is defined as l equals lambda minus sigma mu display style l equals frac lambda sigma mu Assuming an exponential distribution for the rates, the waiting time W can be defined as the proportion of arrivals that are served. This is equal to the exponential survival rate of those who do not drop out over the waiting period, giving sigma lambda equals e minus w mu display style frac sigma lambda equals e caret w mu the second equation is commonly rewritten as W equals one mu L N lambda mu display style W equals frac one mu lane frac lambda mu. The two-stage one-box model is common in epidemiology. Topic: Queuing networks. 
Networks of queues are systems in which a number of queues are connected by what's known as customer routing. When a customer is serviced at one node it can join another node and queue for service, or leave the network. For networks of m nodes, the state of the system can be described by an m-dimensional vector x1, x2, xm where she represents the number of customers at each node. The simplest non-trivial network of queues is called tandem queues. The first significant results in this area were Jackson networks, for which an efficient product form stationary distribution exists and the mean value analysis which allows average metrics such as throughput and sojourn times to be computed. If the total number of customers in the network remains constant the network is called a closed network and has also been shown to have a product form stationary distribution in the gordon newell theorem. This result was extended to the BCMP network where a network with very general service time, regimes and customer routing is shown to also exhibit a product form stationary distribution. The normalizing constant can be calculated with the Buzzins algorithm, proposed in 1973. Networks of customers have also been investigated, Kelly networks where customers of different classes experience different priority levels at different service nodes. Another type of network are G networks first proposed by Errol Gellenby in 1993. These networks do not assume exponential time distributions like the classic Jackson network. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Example analysis of an M M1 Q. Consider a queue with one server and the following variables. Lambda the average arrival rate customers arriving to the system per unit time, e.g. per 30 seconds micro the average service rate customers leaving the system completing service per the same unit time, e.g. per 30 seconds n, the number of customers in the system at the given time up underscore n, the probability of there being n customers in the system further, let let e n text style e underscore n Represent the number of times the system enters state n, and L n text style L underscore n represent the number of times the system leaves state n. For all n, we have E n minus L n element of 0 1 Display style e underscore n l underscore n in zero one. That is, the number of times the system leaves a state differs by at most one from the number of times it enters that state, since it will either return into that state at some time in the future. E n equals l n. Display style e underscore n equals l underscore n. Are not E N minus L N equals one. Display style E underscore N L underscore N equals one. When the system arrives at a steady state, the arrival rate should be equal to the service rate. Balance equation situation zero. Mu one P one equals lambda 0 p 0 display style mu underscore 1 p underscore 1 equals lambda underscore 0 p underscore 0 situation 1 lambda 0 p 0 plus mu 2 p 2 equals lambda 1 plus mu 1 p 1 display style lambda underscore 0 p underscore 0 plus mu underscore 2 p underscore 2 equals lambda underscore 1 plus mu underscore 1 p underscore 1 situation n lambda n minus 1 p n minus 1 plus mu n plus 1 p 
n plus 1 equals lambda n plus mu n p n display style lambda underscore n1 p underscore n1 plus mu underscore n plus 1 p underscore n plus 1 equals lambda underscore n plus mu underscore n p underscore n by balance equation p 1 equals lambda 0 mu 1 p 0 p 2 equals lambda 1 mu 2 p 1 plus 1 mu 2 mu 1 p 1 minus lambda 0 p 0 equals lambda 1 mu 2 p 1 equals lambda 1 lambda 0 mu 2 mu 1 p 0 display style p underscore 1 equals frac lambda underscore 0 mu underscore 1 p underscore 0 p underscore 2 equals frac lambda underscore 1 mu underscore 2 p underscore 1 plus frac 1 mu underscore 2 mu underscore 1 p underscore 1 lambda underscore 0 p underscore 0 equals frac lambda underscore 1 mu underscore 2 p underscore 1 equals f RAC lambda underscore one lambda underscore zero mu underscore two mu underscore one p underscore zero by mathematical induction P N equals lambda N minus one lambda N minus two lambda zero mu N mu N minus one mu one P zero equals P zero I equals zero N minus one Lambda I mu I plus one display style p underscore n equals frac lambda underscore n one lambda underscore n two c d o t s lambda underscore zero mu underscore n mu underscore n one c d o t s mu underscore one p underscore zero equals p underscore zero prod underscore i equals zero caret n one frac lambda underscore i mu underscore i plus one because n equals zero infinity p n equals p zero plus p zero n equals one infinity i equals zero n minus one lambda i mu i plus one equals one displaced Y L E sum underscore N equals zero. Carrot in T P underscore N equals P underscore zero plus P underscore zero sum underscore N equals one. Carrot in T prod underscore I equals zero. Carrot N one F R A C Lambda underscore I mu underscore I plus one equals one. We get P zero equals one 
1 plus n equals 1 infinity i equals 0 n minus 1 lambda i mu i plus 1 Display style p underscore zero equals frac one one plus sum underscore n equals one caret n f t prod underscore i equals zero caret n one frac lambda underscore i mu underscore i plus one. Topic: Routing algorithms. In discrete time networks where there is a constraint on which service nodes can be active at any time, the max weight scheduling algorithm chooses a service policy to give optimal throughput in the case that each job visits only a single person service node. In the more general case where jobs can visit more than one node, backpressure routing gives optimal throughput. A network scheduler must choose a queuing algorithm, which affects the characteristics of the larger network. See also stochastic scheduling for more about scheduling of queuing systems. Topic: <laughs> Mean field limits. Mean field models consider the limiting behavior of the empirical measure, proportion of queues in different states, as the number of queues m above goes to infinity. The impact of other queues on any given queue in the network is approximated by a differential equation. The deterministic model converges to the same stationary distribution as the original model. <laughs> <laughs> Fluid limits Fluid models are continuous deterministic analogs of queuing networks obtained by taking the limit when the process is scaled in time and space, allowing heterogeneous objects. This scaled trajectory converges to a deterministic equation which allows the stability of the system to be proven. It is known that a queuing network can be stable, but have an unstable fluid limit. Heavy traffic, diffusion approximations In a system with high occupancy rates utilization near one, a heavy traffic approximation can be used to approximate the queuing length process by a reflected Brownian motion, ornstein uhlenbeck process or more general diffusion process. The number of dimensions of the RBM is equal to the number of queuing nodes and the diffusion is restricted to the non-negative orthant equals equals see also